Good morning, everybody. David Howell with John Knox Presbyterian Church. Hope you're well. You know, during the season that we're all in, a, a lot of us, if you're like me, I'm included in this number, we tend to focus on ourselves and our family. Uh, we want to take care of the people around us, and, and that's what we're supposed to do. God gave us a life to, to preserve and, and, and to um, call good, and, and uh, so we're supposed to take care of ourselves. And he gave us family and friends, our inner circle, to, to uh, love on and to protect and, and, and to keep safe, especially during trying times like we're facing today. But uh, during these seasons that we're going through, God also calls us to, to look outward from our inner circle, to look at the people that he places in our lives beyond our homes or even our immediate family and friends. He wants us to take care of all of his children. And, and Christ, after he had appeared to the disciples after his resurrection, uh, after they had eaten the fish on the shore, talks to Peter and he gives him such a command. He, he says, if you love me, you're going to feed my sheep, you're going to tend my flock, you're going to help do the work that I started on this earth, taking care of people in need and, and loving on people who need to see the light of Christ. The light came into the world in Jesus Christ, and the light continues to come to the world through us as his disciples as we tend to his sheep. So I'm going to read to you now from John chapter 21, beginning with verse 15, again, after they had eaten breakfast on the shore. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. So as we go through these challenging days, and again, as we, as we do the good work of protecting ourselves and those around us and our family, and, and again, in that inner circle, let's look outward. Let's feed the sheep that, that Jesus has out there. Let's feed all of his children and tend to his flock. There are people in this world that still need food. There are people in this world that still need shelter. There are people in this world who still need safety and, and a home to live in, and, and they still need provisions in life. They need good education. They need supplies for schools like we were collecting for Lake Forest Elementary School. So let's do that good work that that the Lord puts before us and continue to feed his sheep, to tend his flock, to show the world that Jesus loves them through our good works. You know, it's, it's, it's easy for us to say we believe and then do nothing and, and just bask in the glory of knowing that we belong to Jesus Christ. But it's another thing to take up that cross, even as times are tough, and to continue the good work that he lays before us. But let's tend the sheep of Jesus Christ showing his love to the world. We've been so loved, so now let us pour that love into the lives of everyone around us. Peace be with you and have a great day.